Welcome to part number 37 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing the Like the Wind Championship. Listen to that. It's 11.33 over here, PM. So yeah, we're getting in our Nissan R89C, and because it's Like the Wind, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy the fattest turbo kit that I can possibly get. So this championship revolves around raw speed. So in terms of driver status, all of my drivers are feeling really good right now. Except for Vargas. So really, it's just random in terms of who's going to drive. I think for Daytona? I'm gonna have Alonzo drive because he's the only driver that I can recall right now that has actually driven at the Daytona Roval. Ooh, we got a Toyota 7, a Suzuki, a Scudo, BMW V12, LMR, Pojo 905, 787B. Got some heavy hitters in here. See, because there was no special stage Route X until DLC came out for Spec 2.0 of this game, there's sadly no high speed tracks for like 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 true high speed, just raw speed tracks for like the wind in this game. You know, to be honest, it it would make more sense if Polyphony had made this the Daytona Oval instead of the road course. But hey, I mean, they went with what they decided to go with. You, you're glad that I enjoyed the V8 Supercar race, so I'm glad I got to watch it, dude. My first V8 Supercar race that I actually sat down and watched, and, dude, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. Okay, we're leaving everything alone. And away we go. Yeah, standing start on on a freaking banked part of an oval. That's totally not dangerous at all. Anyway, Suzuki is Scooter. Holy crap, look at the start he got. Alonso just kind of shoves the BMW out the way. Good lord. Ooh, the Racing Surface Paradise next week? Dude, awesome. I miss when, Indy when IndyCar used to go to Surface Paradise, dude. Damn, dude, Alonzo's just bullying the other drivers right now. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? Fernandez, what are you doing driving for another team? Dude, you're so... Okay. Wow. Okay, I didn't know Fernandez was... Hey, Mikhail, what's up? Glad you had fun at the uh, Urbandale race, man. Um, yeah, I feel betrayed by Fernandez. My driver, one of my drivers, is driving for another team. Okay, he's gonna get fired after the race is over. I did not agree to that. That's not part of the contract. Can't drive for other teams. Uh, no, Formula Drift. So, Formula Drift was at Urbandale this weekend? Well, tonight. <laughs> Fernandez is a snake. The Kevin Durant of motorsport. What happened to the Escudo? He's dropping like a rock. Oh, he probably gets murdered on the freaking straightaways. Because I think Escudo only tops out stock transmission at least around like a hundred or two hundred and five miles an hour. Come on, Alonzo, get in there. Yeah, I feel betrayed right now. <laughs> that trust is gone between Fernandez and myself.
But hey, Mikhail. So, I was watching the um, I was watching the final runs, and I felt like the judges were really trying to get Oswald the championship, man. Because, dude, get I, in my opinion, like, like what I'm gonna say right now is to anybody who are Formula Drift fans, I'm not a bon a Von Gittin fanboy at all. I'm not a fanboy of any of the drivers, but. You know, and you know, normally you have the fanboys of the drivers that are just like, "Oh, it's rigged," or "No, one more time," or "No, he clearly won." You have those kind of people, but literally, like Von Gittin, he clearly outran Osbo. Like Osbo either like straightened the car out or made like a small mistake, and then Gittin was closer in the chase runs, and then he was farther in the lead runs, and they kept going one more time. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? And then when Osbo hit the wall, I was just like, yeah, like, dude, they can't pull off this one more time bullshit now. Like, it was pretty clear that Gittin won the first the first um, run for the final. It was super clear that Gittin had it. The second one was pretty close, too. It was even closer than the first. So I understand the one more time decision. But the third one, it was pretty obvious. And, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, I was going for James Dean. And I'm super happy that he won his second championship, but at the same time, it's like, I really like Osbo. And for me, it was just kind of like, may the best man win. But Formula Drifting, Formula Drifting, Formula Drift judging, it sucks. It sucks a lot. Like, they're either giving like Chris Forsberg the win all the time, or they're just making bad calls. Like, I don't know. Oh, hell yeah, I did, dude. Dude, that's... Those champ cars are what I grew up watching on TV. And I've seen that car in person before. Well... Actually, I have not. I'm sorry. Not the, not World Power specifically, but the Walker Racing, yes. Not necessarily World Power driving. Like, driving uh, that particular car. But that particular team, yes. Although the Team Australia co colors for World Power... I've seen him win at Long Beach in 2008, but that was KV Racing, not Team Australia. But I still had the Aussie Vineyards um, sponsorship on the Champ Car slash IRL car, I guess, because it's unification year. I'm going to be right back and get some water, so don't go anywhere. Enjoy the sights and sound of Fernando Alonso hustling a Nissan R89C around Daytona. All right, I'm back. Good old Gran Turismo sounds. Yeah, I know, right? How long are you going to stream? Well, I wasn't planning on streaming for long, but I might 
I might stream for like another hour or two to be honest. I'm just in the mood to. By the way, what is a BBQ? You don't know what a barbecue is? Dude, that's that's a that's barbecue. It the sign Okay. So pretty much you didn't know there was a brawl in the area at the speedway. Okay, so behind the grandstands at Irwindale, there's a whole bunch of food vendors there. Not food trucks or anything, but they're like food stands. And those are the regular people, those are the regular vendors at Irwindale every single weekend. So whether it's uh, NASCAR Whelan All-Americans, NASCAR Whelan All-American Series, aka late models and stuff, or, or, um, Night of Destruction. They are always there. It's a barbecue vendor, it's a Mexican food vendor, it's like a shaved ice and like funnel cakes or something. And in front of those vendors, there was a big brawl with like five or six people and they were just all fighting and Formula Derp actually went and recorded the fight and posted on their Instagram and it's freaking hilarious. And I was hoping that since you were there at the race, I was hoping that you got to see the fight because I know if I did, I would have been laughing my ass off. Oh, you found the video? Dude, send that. Oh, you were joking. God damn it, Mikhail. Yeah, while I was getting water and explaining what happened at the speedway, Alonzo's pace has dropped significantly, and now the Sauber Mercedes and the BMW that he was bullying earlier have caught up. Dude, send that. Yes, thank you so much. I gotta get my driver rating up, man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you wanna see it? Join my Discord. Link in the description below. So, yeah, please excuse me while I sip my water. Alonzo's been doing really well right now, both at Fuji and in the virtual world right now. You need to pin it so that way you don't forget. That's a good idea. Yes, while I agree with you on... You may have lost your voice. Yeah, dude, I mean... See, my thing is like, yes, one more time... One more times are awesome. But I think in the first run, at least in the very first final run, meaning the chase and the lead, it was a bad call. One more time was a horrible call, in my opinion, because I think Von Gittin clearly won the final in the first try in the first you know in, in the first uh, try for the final he clearly beat Osbo and they made it a one more time the second time however I think it was a good call because Gittin made some mistakes and then Osbo made some mistakes too and in the third time well Osbo hit the wall <laughs> the fastest car on GT Sport. Oh my god, dude. I, I, I remember that. Oh my god, dude. I have to watch that after the stream's over. Now, Francisco GNM was telling me that Indianapolis is going to be a terrible freaking race. Because the AI cars really suck around Indy, I'm just like, okay. I know that for a fact during the, um, oh, actually, we already experienced that, the Dream Car Championship. I forgot we did that. Do a live reaction? Well, I've already watched the video, unfortunately, so it's, <laughs> I already watched the video, so it's not the same. The first time I, you know, the first initial reaction 
will never be met. It'll never come back. I like see one though. I honestly wanted to end because I was I wanted to go to the restroom, but I don't want to miss the action. You should just went. You should have just went in your seat, dude. It's hilarious though. I know, but but the reaction would be so fail. It would be so forced. That's a nice sound of Mercedes. Getting chased down by the BMW. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, Michaela, how was the public transportation coming back? And... Your parents told you to shut up. <laughs> well, fortunately... Yeah, fortunately, my my brother and my sister are up in San Francisco right now, and my parents are in Vegas, so I have the whole house to myself, so I can make all the noise that I want. That's why I'm streaming so late right now. Unfortunately, my drivers aren't high enough to do like a 24 hours of Lamar or Nurburgring, because I would have done that instead of uh, Like the Wind, to be honest. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. Don't cause trouble. <laughs> Yeah, dude, uh, public transportation being dope at this time, bro, I've had so many experiences with late night public transportation, like concerts and just whatnot. Oh, really? It's not that far from the train station? But do they at least provide some sort of like shuttle or something? Because I know, I know they reached capacity for the parking lot, and so I think that I read somewhere that you had to go park in some... Some parking structure and they had shuttles or something. I, I don't know. I wish I had gone, but eh. I, I, I work today, so... Bringing a tire to a train is weird as fuck. I've, I've seen weirder on the metro, dude. Public transportation in Los Angeles is pretty amusing on its own. Really? Are you sure about- wait, now are you sure? <laughs> but, really it's uh, Von Gittin's tire? How the hell did you get that? By the way, final lap. The lead that Alonzo has over Vorella, it's huge. And then there's Morton in the Escudo. Oh, I know, dude. They had the Evora and everything in the beta, from what I read. Yeah, dude. Even got that autograph you just asked. Yeah, dude, Von Gittin is a really nice stro- Whoa, what the hell? I wish I saw what happened to this guy. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see. Oh, that's a vertigo all the way in the back. Anyways, Von Gittin is a really friendly driver, dude. So, I'm not really that surprised that you got to meet him. But yeah, anyways, Noodles, I remember seen that on the Gran Turismo wiki that the Evora was there and yeah that, that just sucks wait you mean like the global like the global mx5 cup car Ooh, can, we, can Alonzo get him before the line? Nope. It's a fake float finish. But Alonzo wins at Daytona. You're double checking? Got it. Thank you for that, sir. Appreciate it. 
70,000. And shoot, I just realized something. We never checked the used car dealership. We never checked the UCD after um, after doing the Japanese championship, so we'll do that right now. Mazda Roadster S and 200? I have no idea. Okay, so let's see what we can find. That DV7 looks interesting. Ooh, Impreza Super Touring Car. Ooh, that's sexy. Hmm. What could we use? Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to check something out real quick. Okay, sorry guys. I know I know I'm kind of lagging on this, but I want to see something real quick. So historic. Okay, we need a historic car for that, which I know the car we're gonna win for this championship, but I don't know if we're gonna use that for the historic car cup. We might not because I might have something on my sleeve. I don't know yet. Schwarzwald Liga B. I mean, we can use the R8. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen either, Noodles, but it'd be cool. It would definitely be cool. Okay, so there's one thing that I see in the dealership that we could use for the European Championship. And that'll be this Aston Martin DB7 Vantage Coupe. So I'm going to buy it right now. And then off screen, I'm going to go ahead and change the oil and everything. And uh, yeah, I might as well just show off the car right now here in this little menu. And then get in it. All right, and like that, we're back. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Just like that, we're back, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the second round of Like the Wind at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let's get back in our R89C. And once again, Alonzo's gonna drive. Which effect are you referring to, Z-Wolf? So for this race, I know I remember watching Rhino GT4's Let's Play for GT5 when he did B-Spec, and in order to get these AI drivers to actually put a lot of like what effort, I guess, into making moves and stuff into the corners, you gotta increase the downforce. I'm increasing the ratio for the transmission as well, so that way Alonzo can have a little bit more straight line speed. Although he might not need it. Just the thing is, is that he might have a huge draft that we might be able to reach some astronomical speeds. You never know. So we basically have... Oh, when to do the stuff to your car. Got it, got it. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. 
It definitely is. Like the animations where they're wiping down the cars or they're changing stuff, you know, inside the garage. It's pretty cool. And away we go. English only, please. Alonzo up to sixth already. Yeah, he just slammed into the back of the Sauber. Well, he's getting stuck behind the R390. Oh, I know. Like the animations or whatever, they're just um, they're they're non-existent. They're basically just um, kind of like loading screens, I guess. Yeah, no, no worries, man. No, they're speaking Japanese. Those are Japanese letters. Yeah, I knew adjusting the downforce on the car along with the transmission was going to be a good thing. <laughs> Oof. Alonzo's really flirting with the turn 2 wall right there. Him and the R92 really working together. <laughs> Ufer gang. I don't know, Noodles, open up the window, bro. If you're near a window. Yeah, fortunately we've been getting some rainfall over here, so it's been it's been getting colder. In our in my slash Marvin's area so yeah I'm pretty happy about that to be honest because I hate hot weather dude this is a real fight between the two Nissans Sauber smacks the wall JR Hildebrand style there'll be thunderstorms tomorrow hopefully so it cools down. Yeah, dude, there's been, there's been some thunder over here. Maybe our maybe our weather is probably moving towards the wet or yeah, towards the west. Might reach you guys soon. Who knows? Then again, I don't really know how the, the whole weather thing works. I don't know if it travels around the, the globe or what. <laughs> Please don't mind me. I'm just really bad at science. Oh, that's nice. I call myself a chicane because I'm really slow and I suck. <laughs> well, I wish that were I wish that were a lie. Anyways, <laughs> um, dude, that just that sounds like a vacuum cleaner that has like that has like freaking rope or like socks or something stuck inside, and it's really trying to get the air. Like it's trying to suck in the air, but it, it's like something jammed inside. Good lord. Damn, it was 49 degrees. Fernando, was that necessary? Dude, Fernando just freaking slammed into the back of the freaking Gillette. <laughs> yeah, 49 degrees is really hot. What's up, Manny? You're bad at GT5 B spec. 
Not good at giving, not good at giving the AI proper commands. <laughs> well, I do my best. But my boy's got it. My boy Fred has it. And Kenny lost second. Come on, let's make this a Nissan 1-2. Come on. Get back in the lead. Or back to second, I mean. Not the lead, but second. <laughs> You'll be a tryhard for that. I mean, my name was, was a joke at first, and then it just kind of stuck. Really, so that's why I just named myself the Moving Chicane. Yeah, dude, Alonzo is flying. That Andretti Autosport experience really paying off here, clearly. Almost at the halfway point of the race. Dude, the vertigo. Oh my god, that car is so slow around the corners. I mean, I, I know it's a GT car or whatever. I'm not really sure what. It's a GT car of some sort. And I know it doesn't have the downforce that the LMP slash Group C cars do. But still. It's like, why are you here? And the Escudo, well. It's kind of out of place. At IMS, so is Arthur 90. I'll play like the world's smallest violin for some of the cars in the back, because good lord, they're so off the pace. Getting absolutely destroyed by everybody. And yes, everybody. Not just Alonzo. Oh, Noodles, I just saw your um, Discord message. And no, that is not the um, that is not the Global MX-5 car. I'm a sad boy now. Alright, Wolf. Well, thanks so much for joining the stream, dude. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it, man. And uh, you have a good night. It's late over there at the East Coast right now. It's late here at the West Coast too, but not as late. Once again, Alonzo just giving the freaking vertigo the chrome horn. Yeah, Alonzo's pretty much untouchable right now. Oh, okay, the fight for second place. This we have to watch, because the vertigo's in the way. <laughs> Alonso was like, what about that pinche way? <laughs> Kenny, oh! Back bumper gets hit by Kenny. That was Gavada to get third place. So it's an LMP1 once or 2 3. Then we got a hungry herd of group C cars after after that. Let's go ahead and get Alonzo to pace up. I know he's already flying, but still, we need him to 
keep his pace up. This is what the fight we need to watch, because Alonzo pretty much has the race win. See, I wasn't even paying attention, and I didn't even notice that Peter's in the Toyota. Got second. Okay, Alonzo's gonna have to get around the R390 in the Escudo, and that's not gonna be easy. Or it will be. Okay. I was completely wrong about that. Please excuse me. Anyways, four laps to go. Fight for first is pretty much decided already. Fight for second, however, a lot can happen. See, what I like about this little pack is that second can fall back to sixth. Fifth can go all the way up to second. The order just gets shuffled around all the time. No guarantees whatsoever with who's gonna stay where, you know? We got two laps to go, or three now. Three laps to go. As you can see, now Peters is up to fourth. Aubrey is back to sixth. Really, Kenny in the R92 has been the most consistent driver so far. Okay, the Vertigo, the R390, and the Scooter are gonna play a huge role in here. So the question is who gets stuck behind the back markers? And the answer is everyone. <laughs> Did that just ruin the party? Maybe. Hey, good morning, Noob. How's it going? Okay, I think the fight... The sounds are stuck in your head. <laughs> the sound of vacuum cleaners. Definitely the bike markers have ruined the five-way scrap for second place. But maybe Peters can get Kenny. Maybe. Sadly, that whole fight was short-lived. Yeah, Alonzo is way off the pace now. What other games do I play? Um, really? Racing games is what my whole YouTube channel is, like, kind of prioritized around. But when, I, when it comes to other games, I like to play a lot of, like, more retro stuff. So, like, the Mega Man series, Castlevania, Silent Hill... Ninja Gaiden, Mario, N Nintendo games in general. Um, really, a lot of stuff. Metal Gear Solid is my favorite game of all time and my favorite series of all time. I just came back from the voting booth. Ooh. Now. I am going to say one thing is that I don't like to talk about politics at all on my channel. However, the only thing I'm going to say is that that's a good thing. Good thing that you went to go vote. Get your voice heard. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, did I say the replay for Daytona? Yes, I did. Just want to make sure because we had to go to the UCD and then that kind of took my mind off of Daytona for a bit. So, unlike the other prize cars, I already know which prize car we're going to get for this. A-Spec, I already have an idea of most of the prize cars. B-Spec, not so much, because I didn't really do B-Spec back then. 
except with the Red Bull to like get money because I was a lazy fuck and I'm still a lazy fuck, but regardless. Toyota 7. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Why am I lazy? Because <laughs> I am. Sorry to seven. There we go. Okay. So, that's like the wind down. In the next segment, I'm gonna die because we're doing the historic car cup with this thing. Monaco is not gonna be fun. <laughs> 